A relation is something that you might already be familiar with. In fact, a relation is just a set of ordered pairs. So let's look at an example. Suppose I have the set of real numbers, and I want to look at the relation that's the set of ordered pairs x comma y such that y equals 2x plus 1. Well, I could graph this. This would just look like a line. And then I could say something like the point 0 comma 1, and that falls on the line, that would be in the relation. Well, something like the point 1 comma 1, that's not on the line, that would not be part of the relation. So in this case, the relation is a subset of the Cartesian product of r and r. I'll just read that as r times r. Okay, so that makes sense. Let's look at another example. Let's try the set of real numbers again, and this time we'll let the relation be the set of ordered pairs uh, x comma y such that x squared plus y squared equals 4. And you can graph this. This would look like a circle centered at the origin with a radius of 2. And again, I could say that the point 0 comma 2, for example, would be part of the relation, while the point 3 comma 1 would not be part of the relation. And again, this relation is a subset of r times r. Let's look at one more example. How about if we let the set S be the set negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And then the relation would be the set of ordered pairs negative 3 comma 1, negative 1 comma negative 1, negative 1 comma 2, 2 comma 2, and 3 comma 0. So I could plot these points. It would look something like this. And Again, we can say something like the point negative 1 comma 2. Well, that is in the relation. It's explicitly right there. Uh, well, the origin 0, 0 is not part of the relation. And we can say that this relation is a subset of S cross S if I were to let this set up here be denoted by S. So we see some patterns here. Let's try and get an official definition for a relation. So what's the definition of a relation? A relation, and I'm going to use a funny looking R to represent the relation here. So the relation on a non-empty set S is a subset of S cross S, or S times S. That's the Cartesian product of S with itself. And notice that you can also define a relation, if you wanted to, from a set A to a set B, and then you could say the relation is a subset of the Cartesian product of A and B. But for everything I'm going to do, just one set S should suffice. So for example, suppose I have the set of real numbers. Well then I could say A is related to B if and only if A is less than B for any real numbers A and B. So for example, if I were to pick A equals 1 and B equals 3, then A less than B would mean that 1 is less than 3, and yeah, that works. So I could say that the uh, ordered pair of 1 comma 3 is in the relation. But if I pick something like a equals 4 and b equals 2, that would mean if uh, I were to look at a less than b, 4 is less than 2, that's not true. So I would say that 4 comma 2, that's not in the relation. So a good question to ask is can you determine for each ordered pair if the statement is true or false? So if you look at any ordered pair that is in the set S cross S, uh, if you're able to answer if it's true or false, then that's a relation that, you've, that you have determined there. So for this example here, I can pick any two real numbers, and whatever two real numbers I pick, I can ask definitively if A is less than B and get an answer that is either true or false. So this is indeed a relation.